Confronting one of literature's greatest villains, inmates at this Mexican penitentiary are learning about drama and gaining personal insights. King Richard forces us to face our dark side, the parts of us which are false and hypocritical. But in a way, everyone has a bit of Richard III inside them, including people in the audience. For men like Cesar Garcia, who is serving a life sentence for kidnapping, playing Shakespeare's power-hungry King Richard hits close to home. Each actor uses his own life experience to write monologues based on the original play. Rehabilitating and facing personal demons is one objective of this prison theater program started by the Foro Shakespeare Company in Mexico City. The other is to challenge the audience to question their own assumptions about prison life. People come with the idea that we are terrible and have no redeeming qualities, but when they see us perform, they see that we are talented, passionate, and want to transform and create. For many of these people, entering a prison is an intense experience. Not only do they have to overcome their fears, but also their stereotypes of the men they will see perform. The play begins on the bus ride to the prison. A former inmate and member of the theater company is the warm-up act. He intimidates the audience by sharing his own violent experiences when he was in jail. It's this woman's second time seeing the show. For her, the experience humanizes people behind bars. As you watch the play, you forget that they are inmates and committed crimes. You see so much of their emotions and really see them as people. Back in the theater, she, along with family members of the inmates and even other prisoners, watch as the play unfolds. But for Cesar, one person in the audience is missing. I wish my victim could come see me perform, so he could realize that we all just make mistakes, but that we can change. If even trash can be recycled, then why not a life? A challenge these criminals turned actors hope more and more Mexicans will accept. Rachel Levin, Al Jazeera, Mexico City.